In 1972, the United Nations issued Stockholm Declaration of Human Environment. In the same year, Taiwan promulgated its National Park Act, paying the basis for the inception of the first national park, and that is Kanding National Park in 1982. Now, Taiwan has nine national parks with different type and different operational format. First, Taiwan has three alpine national park, including Jay Mountain National Park, Talogo National Park, and Xueba National Park. Taiwan also has two close to metropolitan area national park, and that is Yangmingshan National Park, and also Kenting National Park. Aside from that, there is one very special kind of national park, that is Historical Battlefield National Park, that's Jinmen National Park. With a variety of wetlands, Taiwan also established one wetland type of national park, that is Taijiang National Park. With various offshore islands, Taiwan also established some kind of offshore island national park in Penghu Archipelago and also Dongsa Archipelago. This pluralistic formation of national parks present a very unique working experience in the international park systems. The operation and the governance of national park in Taiwan has been in tandem with democratic transformation and social pluralization. One of the main issues of the National Park is to work with the Aboriginal groups in the park. Aside from that, the National Park system also have to promote its value and its governance in the international community. In order to attract more visitors from the international community, the National Park in Taiwan has to uh, perform some sort of capacity building in marketing and also in a way to enrich its content and its operation. Right now, the National Park system is under the process of reorganization. One way to increase the capacity building is to establish a National Park Service under the Ministry of the Interior. Right now, there is no National Park Service in Taiwan. The Park Service is under the construction uh, administration and is not well integrated with the uh, escalation of the organization, there will be a better organizational space and also capacity for the operation and the governance of national parks. One way to deal with the national park in Taiwan is to make the best of the existing systems to support this very valuable name. To name some of the very important uh, functions uh, that will include police, that will include firefighters, that will include land planning, and also uh, construction union. With these supporting systems and also better integration, National Park under the Ministry of the Interior are performing function better than ever before. However, with the challenge of climate change and also internationalization, National Park V200 has been the plan for the future. And also, it is going to be the next step for the existing governors of the national parks. Ministry of the Interior is ready to organize 
National Park Service in a better way to serve the services that's, that will meet the need of internationalization and also indigenization, including the cooperation with the operational groups. This operational change and also organizational reform has been in tandem with the international train for better protection of the reserve areas and also better assessment for citizens to these rather very valuable resources. We are ready for the next step.